I welcome you back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I will show you how to use the Photopy uh, application, okay? Or the browser, okay? While working offline, okay? You'll be using it to customize your logo or your design, whatever you're designing, and be offline. That sounds crazy, right? So I'll dive straight to my screen. To show you how to get it done firstly all you have to do is to go to your browser um the photo p online photo editor right so when you click on it meanwhile you need your data to be on okay F to get this done uh, more especially for this interface you need your data to be on to do this interface okay unless it won't work you know this is more like a trick okay once this interface that's the home page once it has opened then you can go ahead and turn off your data rights i'm gonna switch off my data and my hotspot okay you can now start customizing whatever you want to okay offline okay you'll be working offline right now so let's um let's straight to our screen open from computer let's import sorry i click on the wrong Link. let's um, open from computer let's import our psd file okay this is the psd file i'm gonna import right where's my psd file um uh, where is the file the psd file i think it should be up here um ps h a h a h a h a h all right, this is the PSD file, the AJ3D block file. All right, you give it some time to load. Okay. You can see our data is off. Okay, our data is off and we are still using the application offline. Okay, so that's how it works. All you, all you need to do is to turn off your data and go ahead with your customization okay so this is the psd file right now we are going to um, you click on this section okay to import your own logo so what you have to do here is this you can see where they wrote your logo you double tap on that um, particular section when you double tap on it what you have to do is to you can hide the logo okay you can hide the logo when you hide on it when you click on the eye icon the logo will no longer be there you can see the logo is not showing so all you have to do is now is to open and place your own logo that you want to use for the uh, design okay so you click on file and click on open and place by then you must have um, imported your logo that you want to use for it so I'm gonna use my own logo now. I'm gonna use this logo for this design. Um, this is my own logo. This is the logo that I'm gonna use for the design. Okay, you can see it's still looking. Let's give it some time. All right, you can see I finally imported the logo, so you can adjust the logo. You can increase the size by. Um, extending the size of this logo i think this is okay this is okay by me so i'll go ahead and save this smart object okay you click on save smart objects okay to save it it's still loading let's give it some time still loading but it's gonna work okay because i've tried this out good you can see our smart object has been updated so what you have to do now is to go ahead and click on uh, the hg 3 d uh, mockup file okay so this file uh, will now work okay it will not be in this mockup aspect so I've clicked on that. Let's give it some time. Okay, so that's how to get it done. It's very easy. Okay, it's very easy.
again. Meanwhile, if you're new here, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we drop awesome contests like this, okay? So you can see, wow, you can see how amazing this design looks. Okay, so that's how you, to get it done. You can see my data is off. Hmm? My data is off and I'm doing all this customization. So that's how it works. Okay, so right now what we are going to do is we are going to export this um, logo designer, this logo file. You click on file, you click on um, exports as, you can export as PNG, JPG, sorry, JPG, SVG, JF, PDF, and lots more. Okay, but what we are going to export now is the PNG file, okay? You click on PNG. Um, let's give it some time. Good, you can see. You then click on save. When you click on save, the file will appear. Okay, download. You, you automatically download this file offline. You can see my data is not on. Okay, I'm, I'm not using even a Wi Fi for it. So you can see. You can see how that works. Very easy. Okay, so that's how to work with your Photopi of um, app or browser offline. Okay, so that's how to get it done. If you really love this video, please I appreciate it. if you give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click on the notification bell icon. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much and be blessed. Peace.